Uh, hello, everyone. I'm David Chen from Alibaba. I'm respo uh, responsible for building the ecosystem to our Xuanti CPU core. So uh, I'm also the uh, vice chair of the uh, software application and the tools HC uh, in Resolve uh, International. So usually, uh, I see many friends uh, through the Zoom uh, meeting uh, window to window. But today, I'm very glad to see many friends uh, face to face. In my talk, I will talk about some, uh, some of our work we have done in the past several years to uh, build the ecosystem to our C910, um, our most advanced chip, and uh, we'll show how we make it really accessible to developers. So in my talk, I will share uh, with you some uh, stories about what we, what we have done, uh, right? what uh, lessons we learned, and uh, what we are going to do next. Uh, since this uh, uh, industry session, so I will talk more, talking more, more about our work uh, for the ecosystem. Okay, let's start with uh, C910 history. Uh, it was firstly uh, uh, officially released uh, in 2019, almost four years ago. And uh, with core mark value at seven, it was one of the most powerful uh, respect chip at that time in the world. And uh, in the past uh, four years, uh, we worked with our partners, uh, vendors, to make a uh, more and more complete ecosystem uh, for this, uh, including the first evaluation board to port AOSP 10, and uh, also have the Wujian 600 SOC platform to design the TH1520 SOC prototyping. Uh, with this hardware, uh, we delivered the, a series of the development boards to the market, to developers. Also, uh, we have uh, the real applications from uh, customers uh, recently. So uh, in my uh, following talk, I will share with you uh, how we make this done uh, step by step. But uh, first, I would like to talk something about the ecosystem, because uh, we think ecosystem uh, is uh, important, if not the most important factor in the chip industry. And uh, uh, according, according to uh, Wikimedia, uh, this term refers to the combined physical and the biological components of an environment. And generally, there are four key components of a natural environment ecosystem, uh, which is the physical uh, component of the environment, such, such as the, the land or soil, uh, function together with the biotic uh, organisms, such as the plants or animals, then uh, with the same habitat to build a stable system. So I think the... Uh, Amazon forest is a good example for that. Well, for the business ecosystem, uh, these four components could become the hardware, software, the same standard or principle, and to build a sustainable and uh, profitable system. There are, also, there are many three model, models to build the uh, soft ecosystem. So like the centralized model, the open source model, and the open community model. Uh, the last one is a combination of, of the first two, actually. And uh, nowadays, more and more companies would like to uh, build the ecosystem uh, using the third mo model to, bu uh, to build the ecosystem for their business. And for more information of each model, you can uh, take a look at this book uh, written by James Moore. And here's a link uh, there. Well, for the open community ecosystem, we believe there are at least six elements you need to run to build a whole system. Uh, these six elements are governments or organization, uh, industry, research, education, application, and investment or fund. Uh, each element plays a very important role in the whole system. Uh, a, one particular character of this open community ecosystem is that there are a vast of global connection of the companies uh, share the few standards or principles in the, or, maybe, or called the technologies. This standard may come from the, uh, the government or maybe from the, an organization. And at the base, an informal society of the individuals and the companies will share the common purposes. Uh, these common purposes will uh, we include the share the technology, share the principle, and uh, as well as the business pr uh, practices such as encouraging the differentiation and collaboration to make sure every member makes a uh, big success. So back to C19, 
story, uh, we will pick uh, some of our work uh, from the industry, education, and application elements, respect, uh, respectively. Okay, uh, the first example is from the industry. It's mainly about our efforts uh, for the software ecosystem, mainly on the AOSP. Uh, because we all know, uh, during the past decade, uh, Android open source project or AOSP has become one of the top operating system uh, for the phones, tablets, and the, a lot of the mobile devices. Just, I think, uh, one year ago, at the summit 2022, uh, Google announced the upstream uh, enablement of the RIS-5 in Android. And also, I saw the news just a, a week ago, right? Uh, October uh, 31st, uh, Google made an announcement about their new progress about this uh, support to the Android on RIS-5. Like, not only to accept the patches, but also provide the mature support to the AOSP, uh, to the RIS-5 in Android. So that's a big uh, improvement. Uh, but if we take a closer, closer look at uh, the work to date, uh, there's some also other uh, milestones uh, we mentioned. mention. Uh, 2020, uh, there were some engineers from the PLCT lab. They made the, their contribution to port AOSP 10 to RISC-5 architecture. And uh, since uh, the early days, engineers at Alibaba uh, has been a uh, main contributor or leader uh, in this pioneer work and has kept uh, uh, the development contribution with the newer Android versions. And actually, we just have the ASP 13 ready for TH15 uh, uh, 20 SOC based hardware. Another uh, one uh, milestone to educators is a series of the development boards available uh, to the students or to the developers uh, based on or powered, on, uh, powered by the TH15 uh, 20 SOC and ASP. Another uh, milestone uh, to uh, the ASP uh, is the first commercial Android uh, SDK uh, is uh, already, already has been shipped recently. In the, uh, in, uh, since 2021, I think, uh, engineers at Alibaba and uh, undertook uh, massive efforts uh, to directly support the AOSP um, we, by further expanding the core functionality of the uh, of AOSP. We completed the system construct construction of the AOSP on uh, RISC-5 RISC and, uh, and the held driver and the related uh, development kits. Also, we, we passed the compatibility testing, um, reliab reliability testing. So also regarding uh, to the security requirements for the future uh, mobile terminals, we also provide a full stack security solution to support, to, uh, to make sure the secu uh, product security in all aspects from the hardware and software. Uh, the second uh, example is from the education. It's about the development boards available to the custom, uh, edu educators or developers. Uh, here is a picture that shows just in the past several months, uh, the boards shipped, by, shipped to market by our vendors or partners. So uh, the first two is um, powered by our TH1520 SOC and so Lichi Pi 4A or and the Beagle uh, V ahead board. You can see all the board in the expo house, uh, hall. Um, and they uh, both are very popular and got a warm feedbacks from the community. For example, you can see uh, uh, in the YouTube, uh, there is a video uh, named Lichi Pi a series uh, desktop computing. Uh, already got uh, more than 1,600,000 uh, views and uh, more than uh, 10,000 likes. Well, for the uh, big OV ahead uh, board, uh, at our booth, we have some demos, uh, video demos to show how picking university students to do the Edge AI lab courses based on the uh, big OV ahead board. So if you, have, uh, more, uh, if you are interested in more uh, discussions, please uh, visit by uh, our booth at the D6. We can have more discussion there. The third one is a Pioneer V uh, uh, box. A Milk V Pioneer box. It's like a mother uh, board designed for the developers uh, with a 64 core uh, chip. It's a 64 core chip based on C910. So it provides uh, like a, a desktop 
uh, PC, uh, desktop uh, like experience. It provides the uh, very friendly uh, developer experience. I will uh, talk about more is about this application uh, later. Uh, in order to help the uh, developers or users to evaluate or test or do more benchmark on our CPU, uh, Xuanti CPU core SOC or demo boards, uh, we provide an evaluation a cloud evaluation platform uh, called RISC Five Cloud Lab, and in this cloud lab is very easy to use, just like reserving a conference room. So you you, you can just select uh, the like the demo board, and uh, you you can go to the port console and uh, do the debugging uh, your uh, PC uh, terminal, and also you can uh, uh, upload download your projects. Uh, compile and load to the uh, device. You can reboot and power on and off the device, and you can even see the web camera. So yeah, in the world, you can do whatever uh, you want to control. Uh, you can have the full control of this uh, evaluation work and do whatever you want. And uh, by the way, we also provide a remoting learning session to students, uh, which means students can log in on any demo board to do the code test, uh, compile, and uh, the, the load of projects. It's a, yeah, it's a very uh, easy learning tool. We are also uh, working on to develop a um, test band and uh, automation to support, uh, uh, to do the compliance test, yeah, to support the standards defined by the RISC-V International. Uh, actually, uh, we are the first uh, RISC-V uh, processor company past the compatibility testing in the, here is the whole process we have done in our cloud lab. It's uh, very uh, easy. Um, um, in, uh, st just starting uh, from uh, last year, we started the requirements from ACT and uh, verified our design uh, with the ACT test. Oops. Okay. And uh, then we, uh, after a continued discussion with the um, uh, International, we became the first one uh, get the pass the compatibility testing in March this year. And here the, the shows the process is very easy, and we decided to open this com uh, compliance testing uh, to the whole community. And the third one is about the application uh, because I just mentioned uh, 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 Softgoal starting from this year released their first. Uh, uh, 64 core uh, based on C, uh, C910 uh, to do uh, a cluster. And uh, actually, uh, starting from this year, uh, in the past several months, uh, they not only supported the uh, operating systems like the Ubuntu, Debian, or Fedora, they also, uh, it also able to support the cloud operating system like uh, Ali, OS, Ali uh, Open Knowledge from Alibaba. And today we open, uh, we worked with uh, uh, Open Knowledge our community, PLT Lab, and uh, Red Hat teams uh, to support more than 20,000 cloud computing uh, software packages. And here's a real application from the customer, jointly ventured, uh, jointly developed by the Softgo and uh, Jiaotou, uh, Shandong University for the high density com uh, community. It's uh, the first. Uh, commercial uh, implementation of, of the RISC-V uh, in the cloud computing. And we believe 2023 20, is the year one for RISC-V in cloud computing. We just made a small step, and, but we put, on, put the RISC-V uh, on the starting line. And finally, I would uh, like to talk about something uh, co cooperation we have with the RISC-V International, because as a standard open source, open standard uh, organization, it plays a very important role in the whole system. Uh, so you can see uh, in Alibaba, we have more than 50 uh, engineers uh, in, involved in the daily work, uh, more than 30 TGs, T, uh, uh, SIGs, or HCs. And uh, for, uh, 14 of them are already taking some leader, technical leaderships in the community. And uh, there are also some projects we uh, work directly with the RISAF International, uh, like the development boards project, uh, certification projects, and the marketing uh, projects. So thanks a lot for uh, Jeff, uh, Tiffany, and uh, Mike a lot for their continuous support. Here's a picture of our technical uh, leadership, uh, and there are more names I should mention uh, because uh, I really enjoyed working with them, not only by uh, their expertise, 
but also their open source sprints. So last but not least, I will uh, highlight some uh, open source contribution from our team. You can see if, uh, for these five uh, open com communities, we made some uh, work uh, to the community because we do believe open source is more beneficial for developers in, case of, uh, in terms of the collaboration. And we will continue our uh, efforts uh, in the open source community. Uh, before I say thanks for your uh, listening, I would like to share a quote uh, because I do think, uh, believe this, uh, this is the right way to do the ecosystem. This quote is from uh, Steve Jobs' uh, Stanford commencement speech in 2005. Yeah, he said, connecting the dots. You can't connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking back, backward. So you have to trust, you have to uh, trust uh, the dots can, uh, can connect in your future. So like, just like the uh, uh, ecosystem work we are doing, the more dots or more components you tried, you connected, the bigger and the stronger the ecosystem will become to your business. So you've got to trust something. You've got to believe something in risk five. I think uh, if you insist on investing the soil, uh, finally you will see the seed will grow up and become a big tree. So I think that's the beauty of the ecosystem. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for your listening. Thank you, Dave. Yeah. Uh, we have time for one question. Any question? Oh, one question. Uh, it was interesting, uh, the Shandong University system. Could you talk a little more about, you know, what uh, the specs and some details about what the system is? Uh, yes, I can talk a little, but maybe you can get more uh, information from Softco directly, and uh, they will help, they will attend the HPC conference uh, in maybe in the early next year. But generally, this uh, uh, based on the 64 core chip, and uh, they, they make a cluster uh, for their own um, teaching and research for the uh, high density computing. And uh, the specs or the more details, they didn't share yet because it's just finished, uh, just shipped and delivered in September and October this year. But they allow us to make announcement or make the news here. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much, Dave. Okay, thank you.